To see how I got this look using my curl formers, please stay tuned. So I did this style on clean hair using an old twist out puff. My hair was stretching in style with two ponytail holders. So I'm just fluffing my hair out to separate it, stretching my hair out a little bit more and preparing it to style. So these are the curl formers that I use, the short and long. Additionally, you will need some water, Echo Styler gel, combs, and of course the rods that come with the curl formers. So this is how you get the curl formers onto the hook. And I did this pretty fast, but I'll show you again. You use your fingers to pinch open the bottom of the curl formers and then you apply the hook slip it through all the way to the top and I did this with all of my curl formers that I could use at a time so that it would take up less time to reset the curl formers so I have a duckbill clip just to separate my hair and as you noticed I use my fingers to separate the area not really looking for clean parts I use my pick just to detangle my hair. My hair was pretty detangled, but this is just for extra effect. Grab water and I sprayed my hair just a little bit because I don't want my curls to revert or my hair to revert. And then while my hair is wet, I use my fine tooth comb and comb through just to make sure my ends aren't tangled. And then I apply the Echo Styler Gel and just a little bit. And I put that on my hair. The gel is the only setting product that I use for these curls. So after rubbing the gel through my hair, I grab my comb and I comb through just to make sure that my hair is nicely detangled. The last thing you want is knots when you put in the curl form is in your hair. So I grab my hair taut at the root and I twist it, which makes it easier for me to hook on the hook because you don't want to snag any of your hair. So wrap the hook around the hair that you're going to use, pull it up to the roots, and then slide up the curl former. Now if this is your first time using the curl formers, it's going to take some getting used to. This is not my first time, but I also needed to practice. And by the time you get more of them in, you'll be a pro at it. So I'll show you all how I did that again. I just used my fingers to separate my hair. Like I said, I'm not looking for clean, defined parts. Use my clip to separate the rest of the hair. And then use my fingers once again to detangle and feel for the size of the sections that I want to use and I was using pretty much small to medium sections so once the section is formed I use my fingers to detangle the hair and to continue to stretch my hair I get my pick to make sure there are no tangles and my fine tooth comb to make sure the ends aren't tangled as well Grab a little bit of water, and that helps to set the curls. Rub it through. And then grab the gel, once again just a little bit, to place on the length of the hair. And here I go again, twisting my hair at the root. And then I grab the curl former, which is already on the hook. Hook it around my hair. Hold it taut. And then I slip up the curl former. I use my pointer and thumb to pinch the top of the curl former to open the space so that it is easier for me to pull my hair through. 
and you want to be gentle with this process because you don't want to pull or tug on your hair so I'll do it one more time just taking my hair separating it detangling with my fingers and with my pick as well as my fine tooth comb getting out all of the tangles and trying to stretch my hair as much as possible I spray my hair with a little bit of water run the water through my hair use my rat tail to detangle once again before applying gel to the length of my hair rubbing the gel through running my comb through and then twisting my hair tight at the roots and I just twist it maybe one or two times put the hook around my hair and then I pull the curl former up pinch the top and gently pull my hair through and this is what it looked like after I got all of the curls in and you see one side is blue one side is green I just did that based on the way the hair was curling so to dry my hair I used my curl formers portable dryer bag thing I don't even know what to call it <laughs> but you see it here I'm putting it on my head and what it is is that you use a portable hand hair blow dryer and connect it to the hood to dry your hair and I think I sat up under the dryer for about an hour maybe an hour and a half watching movies and killing time so this is what it looks like when I want to dry it and this is how the hand blow dryer connects to the hood so this is after my hair is already dried I had a ponytail holder over the front to keep the pieces out of my face and to loosen or take out the curl formers all you have to do is use your fingers to unroll it and then gently slide the curl former off of your hair and there's the curl so you use your fingers to unroll the curl formers and slide it off your hair and yes the curl formers revert back into that curl pattern to, to the shape of the curl um, the material is like a mesh so it stays curled and one by one you just take the rods out slide them gently off of your hair And if you notice that the rods, the blue rods, curl to the back towards the right and the green rods curl to the back towards the left. And this is what it looks like after all of the curls have been taken out. And I really liked it. I know I'm going to love it once my hair grows and it gets a little bit longer. But this is what it looks like now on my short 4C hair. Don't you like it? So, the ends are a little frizzy, but that didn't bother me. And I just took some coconut oil, put a little bit of coconut oil into my hands so that I can just rub that through my hair. And I decided that I wasn't going to separate the curls, but if you want to, you can to give it a more fuller look. I knew I wasn't going to keep the style of my hair, but maybe a few days to a week. So I figured I would separate it as it got closer to me taking it out. And I'm just playing around with a style, trying to figure out how I want to wear my hair. And, you know, ultimately, I just decided that I was going to pin up one side. And I just used one to two bobby pins to hold my hair 
back on one side. And that's it. So let me all know what you think about this style. Try it out for yourself if you have curl formers. It's possible. Thanks for watching.